All right, you guys, we are recording. So we're gonna go ahead and kick this off. We have an incredible guest speaker um, tonight, so I wanna give her as much time as we can. But before that, I'm gonna go through just a couple things. So it is September. Um, you guys have to understand, summer is just ending. Moms are getting kids back to school. Like People are trying to find their groove, creating a new schedule. Um, so this is the time that you guys have to lead from the front. You have to set that example, share your journey and be very bold and black and white with what you have to offer people. I've been scrolling through a lot of my coaches posts just to kind of see what you guys are up to and see how things are going. And a really common theme is some of you guys are really good at sharing what you're doing but I would have no clue that I could do it with you, that you're offering anything, that you have a start date coming, that you're anything like that. So you guys have to be like more than you think, black and white, as far as starting a challenge group, letting people know what you have um, and that you're there to help them, okay? So I always say your billboard needs to match your behind the scenes. So if you are, like behind the scenes talking to people and inviting them and then they go to your page to check out what you're doing and they're like I don't even see anything on here like what is she even talking about this accountability group this this challenge this virtual gym like all I see are pictures of her kids like you guys have to make sure your billboard and your behind the scenes is cohesive okay so it's your behind the scenes stuff should be like backing up what you have going on so if you're talking about coaching and you're talking about breadcrumbing what you're doing and filling spots on your team and um, you're starting your new coach mentorship, you should be inviting the coaching behind the scenes so that when they go to your page, they also see what's going on. If you're inviting to a challenge group, you need to make sure that you have a call to action up. You have, you're talking about it in your stories and they're cohesive, right? So just be mindful of that because that's one thing that I've noticed as I've kind of been social media stalking you guys, all right? Um, obviously, Pumpkin Spice launched. It is killing it. It hasn't sold out yet. They did really well with um, projecting how successful it was going to be. So as far as I know, I think we are only hit about the halfway mark as far as how much we have in this first batch of pumpkin spice. So you guys, this is our chance to one, once you guys get it, make sure you're talking about it. Make sure you're sharing new recipes. Everybody loves pumpkin spice, you guys. It's fall. Everyone is obsessed. So make sure that you're chatting about it. And we should have time this round to actually help our customers get it, new people get it, whereas last time it sold out like that. So this is something that we can leverage for the entire month, not just for like the first day that it launched, right? So make sure you're being mindful of that. Um, and then as far as everything else goes, for my PS coaches only, um, this is for you guys because we don't have our PS call since we did this one. You guys have one more month to qualify for the retreat. So the Disney World retreat that's happening in November, one more month to qualify for that. So if that's something that's important to you, get your booty in gear, hustle, you can make it happen. I don't care if you're sitting at zero coaches. You could rock out Diamond in a month. So just be mindful of that. The deadline is coming up and I want as many of you girls there as possible because it's going to be legit okay so i want to turn over all of the rest of the time to danielle and i'm just gonna read through her like bio so i can properly introduce her because she's legit and you guys need to um know who you are listening to okay so i don't know if you guys are familiar with bob proctor that's his name right Whenever I speak, I always have brain farts. And then I'm like, that wasn't even right. Um, yes, yeah, so that's his name. Okay. He is the, like the secret. You know, you all know the secret. He is all about mindset and um, like all the powerful kind of woo-woo stuff that is so legit. And she is one of his top coaches. So she's a prosperity and success mindset coach. And she works with entrepreneurs. Um, I mean, she has a whole list of people, athletes, top sales teams, real estate agents, lawyers, um, just actors, artists, like so many different types of people and 
about what? About mindset, about the most important part of our life, right? That is the engine that runs everything. So I'm going to just let her tell us a little bit about herself and then I want to just soak up all of her knowledge. So Danielle, where are you at? Let me find you. And I'm uh, going to mute myself. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me on. Hello, everyone. My name is Danielle Amos. And I'm very excited to be here. I actually have slides because I'm going to go through a ton of information really quickly. Um, so it, if it's okay with everyone, I'll share my screen while you get your pen and paper ready because I'd like to take up the whole hour with your permission and leave some time for some, for some questions. How does that sound? Great. Thank you, Micah, for having me uh, join your team call. It's such a privilege being here. And thank you to Maria for the introduction. So I will share my slides here. All right. Oops. Okay, here we go. So I love this picture. Today I'm going to talk to you about mastering a mindset. I'm going to share a little bit about my story throughout the presentation. This isn't about me today, though. This is all about you and your results. I'm a big fan of network marketing. You'll find out that I have come from this background, and I I work with a ton of different companies, and I absolutely love this industry. Today we're focusing on your mindset, and I actually heard that results are 95% mindset. This has come out from a recent study and 5% strategy, 5% strategy, 95% mindset. And we see this at the Institute that I work with. So I'll give you some more stats like this. So if you really tune in today and put away all distractions, I promise you this seminar, this next hour can change your business. Because this was the exact seminar that I heard that then changed my business when I was in network marketing. And I still am. I just am focusing over here. During that time, I tripled my income, you guys, by implementing this knowledge into my business. Okay? The only limits in I impose on ourselves. This is a quote from Bob Proctor, who is my mentor. And, and I had no idea when I first... Uh, came into this. I had no idea about mindset. I don't know about any of you, but I was like a hustler. I was really good at taking a ton of action. And when I was able to pair that action with mindset, my result shifted. So here I am. Here's my, my name, Danielle Amos. I'm a consultant with the Proctor Gallagher Institute. And I'll tell you a little bit about what that means in a moment. So do you, would you agree with me? And you can just raise your hand like this or even put in the comments that you, that each of you know how to do network marketing. You know how to do your business. Would you agree? Yeah. And so, and I know that Micah and all of your leaders, they give you really good training at Beachbody. I'm familiar with your company. I know that you have a really good leadership in the company. So you know you have a ton of tools, don't you? And just like even knowing that Micah does these calls for you guys, I know that you guys are trained well. So everyone knows what to do. Do you believe that if you tried a little harder, you would get better results? Anyone have that belief? Raise your hand. Yeah, good. And what about if you had more time, you'd get better results? Anyone have that? Okay, good. So all of these beliefs are something that we've actually debunked in this work. We all know that you know how to do your business. And what we found across the board is that people aren't doing what they know to do. For example, you might know to reach out to, you know, five, 10 people a day and do the follow-ups. But how many people are actually doing that? And for me, I was really hard on myself because I knew what to do and I wasn't doing it daily. So this is a common one. What if, and if the, the idea of trying a little bit harder, there's a really great book called U Squared, where the author actually talks about how trying harder, doing more of the same thing is going to give you more of the same results. And it's actually a big part of most people's problem. And so I had the belief that, if I 
added more hours, I would have to do better in my business. And I realized that this wasn't true. And the reason I had that belief was that my dad worked jobs when I was growing up to pay the bills. Four jobs. You had. And for me, when I was going to university, what did I do? I actually worked four jobs to pay to save up money. See, we are programmed to believe these things and they, and, and we didn't decide on the program. The other one, if we had a, more time, see, we can't manage time. We can manage activities. So I'm going to show you how to do that day, how to effectively use the time you have and work smarter, not harder. So who would like to learn that? How to work smarter, not harder. Yeah, good. What about more confidence? Who would like more confidence? Yeah, okay, good. And what about making this year your best year yet? And I, yes, I am aware it's September and you've, it just won't take you as long to make it your best year. So let me know, show of hands. Yeah, good. Good. Now at the top of your page, I would like you to hone in and really think for yourself for a moment. What is one thing that you would like to ach uh, achieve this year? Maybe back in January, you made a commitment to yourself, and I'd like you to recommit to that right now and write it at the top of your page. And there's no need to write a paragraph, just a, a sentence or two. And then the next is, what's one thing you'd like to change this year that would make the biggest difference for you and your business and your family? And during the next 45 minutes, I'd really like you to keep this top of mind, these two things, because it's my goal to give you information, tips, and tools that you can implement to help you achieve that goal and help you change that thing that will actually make the biggest difference for you. And that's why you're here. And I acknowledge all of you for being here. You, what's interesting and what I know to be true, is like not everyone's on the call, right? And so what I noticed in this work is that we attract this information to us. And it's really interesting because I'm sure you're going to resonate with what I have to say. And I'd love to hear in the comments and I, I will read them and respond back because what I know is that all of us are at different levels of our awareness. And when you resonate with something or when it, like you, it catches your attention, you want to listen to that and pay attention because there's often a hint or a message in, in this material for you that could create a quantum leap in your business this year. And I, I'll give my own story, I'll, I'll share my own story as, as an example. Success doesn't have to take a long time. Sometimes it can happen very fast because it's a small, it's a belief that you just need to change. And so stay open today because I could be just that, give you that message that you need to hear to make that leap, okay? So today you and I will discover uh, who Bob Proctor is, if you don't know already. Who knows Bob Proctor or has heard of him from the movie The Secret? Anyone? Bob Proctor, okay. Good. So we'll talk about, just briefly about him and the Proctor Gallagher Institute. I, I'm, then I'm going to hone in on your thinking. 95% mindset and 5% strategy. So we really want to understand why thinking is so important to your success. We'll talk about goals, what's holding you back, and the imp importance of decision and taking action. So where does this information come from? The Proctor Gallagher Institute. The gentleman on your right is Bob Proctor. He may look familiar. He's 85. He has been studying human potential and mindset for 58 years. He is considered to be the person living today who understands this material more than anyone on the planet. And, you know, he often talks about Jim Rohn. Many people know who Jim Rohn is. Jim Rohn started in this industry just a couple months before Bob. And Bob says, the only thing I've got on Jim Rohn is that I've outlived him and therefore studied this information longer. And so that I find very interesting. And I'm also very humble and, um, 
and very uh, grateful to be here as one of Bob's protégés to share this information. And I was a client of this material. I heard a, a seminar just like this webinar, and I decided to jump into a program that changed the course of my network marketing business. And after that, I knew I had to help other people, mainly women, because I was at a point where I was struggling and I was frustrated with myself and I was two and a half years in my business with success, but not where I thought I should be. And I was blaming myself and I didn't like who I, the thoughts I was having about my company, about my business and about the whole industry. And within six months that all changed. And after that, it seemed like magic that I just knew I needed to help other women just like me because I knew I wasn't the only person struggling in this industry. And so there's some simple mindset things that we need to change in order to, to really find success. The woman on the left is Sandy Gallagher in this photo. She's a lawyer and she was introduced to this material and she actually followed Bob around and helped him put together the material in a very logical and organized manner. And she's a partner of the, of the company, the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Where this information came from, a quick history lesson, Bob Proctor is the protege of a very long lineage of this information. Andrew Carnegie was actually considered the first millionaire and he mentored Napoleon Hill to write the book Think and Grow Rich. And Think and Grow Rich uh, was the book that actually interviewed 500 of the, the most successful men at the time and has sold millions of copies and responsible for making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of millionaires since it was written. And he, Napoleon Hill actually mentored Earl, Earl Nightingale who created a program in the 70s called Lead the Field, and Earl mentored Bob. And now I'm fixing Bob's company, and there are thousands of coaches around the world of, of his teaching this material. And what that means for me is that I get direct access from Bob. So each week he actually teaches me directly with a group of us, about uh, two dozen of us, and... Um, because I'm part of his inner circle, something that is earned and not paid for. And I share that with you because I am the exact same as you. I am a mom. I love network marketing. I believe in health and wellness. And I wanted to become an entrepreneur for my own freedom. So I want you to sit back and really take this in today. Be like I said, if you're open and how you stay open is really by saying, I'm open to receiving this information. And because what happens is sometimes for me, at least when I was first listening to this, I had my arms crossed at the back of the room and it was my mom that brought me to a seminar and I had read Think and Grow Rich. I had read every book out there, every book, like you should see my library. And I thought that I knew this and there was one thing that the person giving the seminar said and they said Danielle if you know this we know exactly where your mind's been based on your results and so if you knew this you'd be at the top of your company if you really knew this and I thought wow that's interesting and I couldn't lie that I had been in my company for two and a half years getting the same results over and over well actually they were going up and down so there are a couple, um, there are four, the four leaders that I talked about, they disagreed on mostly everything, but they agreed on one concept that I really want to hone in on today. And there are four quotes here and I welcome screenshots because these are ones that you want to re remember and to your mind for your belief, any idea that's held in the mind. So this could be going to the top of your company, being winning, earning your company's trips, whatever that is, any idea that's held in the mind that is emphasized, that is either feared or revered, will begin at once to clothe itself in the most convenient and appropriate form available. Andrew Carnegie. The same thing was said by Napoleon Hill, whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. The next, Earl Nightingale, you become what you think about. Simple. You become what you think about. 
Now, I really want you to think right now and start thinking about what you've been thinking about. Then Bob Proctor says, thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. These four leaders, and just like the leaders in Think and Grow Rich, they disagreed on all other things. What makes us agree on this thoughts become things? What we think about. So if this here, what have you been thinking? And if you want to know what you've been thinking, you look at around you at your results. And your results are a reflection of your thoughts and actions. And it's just a snapshot of what, where the thoughts you've been holding in your mind. And I want you to think about this. Everything in the, in the world has been created twice, once in the mind and then in the physical world. So this iPhone was created first in Steve Jobs' mind and then the physical world. The microphone was designed by someone in their mind first and then in the physical world. This is true for everything. Really think about this. So think about what you've been thinking. Have you been thinking about lack and limitation? What you don't want? Have you been, when you're about to pick up the phone or text someone, have you been thinking about them not answering or you disturbing them? Or when you put a post, are you thinking about what other people will think about you? How maybe they won't comment? Or have you been using the power of your mind to think about abundance and everything you want? And this, when I first heard this, I was like, ah, oh, like I, I thought heavy. And I empower you to think, to think in another way. We need to really focus on what we've been thinking and notice it so that we can change it. So for you, you're going to need to notice your own results. So look, let's where I am. Great quote by James Allen. He said, we think in secret, but it comes to pass. Environment is but your looking glass. So secretly, you're holding these thoughts in your mind, but it has to show up in your sales. It has to by law because we become what you think about. So we want to take this really seriously because you have the power to change it. So take a look at your current results because your results always tell the truth. They never lie. So are you able to afford all the things you desire in life? Are you meeting your sales targets or do your results go up and down? Do you follow up? Do you set goals and then get stopped? Do you have balance in your life, in your relationships, or do you find yourself reacting? In your health, do you eat healthier? Do you find that sometimes you go up and down with losing weight and gaining it back? All of these questions, all of these results are a direct reflection of the thoughts that you're thinking. And I know we're getting heavy at the moment, and, I, and I'm doing it on purpose. Because I know from a coaching perspective that we must take responsibility first. In order to make a change, we must understand, you must understand that it's not because of your circumstances. And I can hear you, like I, I, I coach thousands of people and I get, well, no, you don't know what's happened to me this summer. Or you don't know about my situation. And I want you to really sit with me. If thoughts become things, it all comes back to you and your thoughts. So it's important to take responsibility. And what's interesting is all your past success and your failures are all a result of your thinking and nothing else. See, when I was first told that, I did not believe that. I was a very good victim to my circumstance. I... My husband didn't believe in my network marketing company, didn't believe in the opportunity. 
And every time we were about to promote it, I felt, I believe that I was being sabotaged. Something would happen. There would be a big fight. And I would like stop myself from doing the proper follow-up or even engaging with my team. And I would get fall short of my goal. And it kept happening. There was a habit over and over and over. And so when I heard this, I was like, no, you don't know what happens in my house. But what's interesting is once you really get into this material, you can see that it's actually your mind. You'll start to open up to this idea. So I, I'm going to ask you today to be, be open, accept the idea and choose to be empowered with the knowledge that you are responsible for the results you're getting. And if you can stay open to that today and know that you're here for a reason, I'm gonna show you how to take responsibility and completely change your results using your mind. How does that sound? Yeah. So I think you would agree that it's really, begin, it's really time to begin to think. See, if the results are based on our thinking, let's control the thinking. And Earl Nightingale said, actually, he said only 1% of people actually are thinking. They're actually thinking about what they want. 3% think they think, or no, he said 2% think they think, and 95% would rather die than think. I thought, wow, that's interesting. But thinking, real thinking, not like habitually going around your day, really thinking about what you want and, and your goals is not easy work. And I'm going to show you why. Success is a system. Ever notice, and it doesn't matter what industry we're in, the research we do, network marketing across all 20 companies that we've really taken a look at, uh, real estate, insurance, sales success all whoops success always leaves clues and success is a system and we notice in companies that there are some people at the top and some people at the bottom and they're given the same training the same product and the only difference is their mind the only difference is their mind their mindset and the people that are winning are thinking a certain way and success is a system. This is a picture of Melissa Popping. Actually, she is from uh, Young Living. And when she first got into this material, she was earning about 100,000. And her team, her goal is to go, go into 100,000 team members. And her team is now earning her millions of dollars in a very short period of time by focusing her, by switching her strategy from, from main, to mainly mindset. So 5% strategy, 95% mindset. And she works so much with her team on mindset and sharing this kind of material because she knows that people know what to do. They know how to ask for the business. They know how to get someone to, to join their team. It's not rocket science, but they get stopped. And she implemented this system and her, her results literally exploded. Another success story that I want to share with you, this is a, a woman also in another uh, network marketing company. And she, um, she joined a three-day masterclass, just three days of listening to this information. And her, she added five people to her team and doubled her volume. You guys, this is not a joke. This is very much a serious, your mind is controlling, getting you all your results. And this was the text that she set, sent to me just a couple days after. This is about a month ago. So let's take a look at your goals, okay? Goal setting, ABCs of goals. This is from Bob Proctor. He talks about the importance of knowing where you're going. So two things you need to know for success. You need to know, obviously, what your goal is. And I know that all of you have a goal. How many of you have it written down? Anyone have their goal written down? Okay, good. And does anyone carry their goal with them on a card, post at places? So it's important to have your goal with you, to become obsessed with you. And one thing that I do is I actually put it 
in the back of my phone case on a little card so I can read it often. And I carry another one in my wallet and in my computer bag. Post your goal places. The obvious, you know, two things to create success. The obvious one is to get a goal. And we know the stats that people that have a goal and they carry it around with them are more likely to achieve success. What is missing though, the second thing you need to know is where you currently are right now. And if we go back to the slides about what you've been thinking, you can tell what you've been thinking where you, by where you currently are, your current results. And where you currently are shows us your paradigms. And I'm going to define this word for you. It also shows us your self-image. So do you see yourself as a Beachbody leader? Do you see yourself at the top of the company with a team? We know what, how you see yourself and your own self-image by your current results. You cannot outperform your current thinking and your current self-image in this paradigm. So I'm going to focus very much on where you are now because if you want to fly to New York City, I need to know that I'm in Toronto. I can't get to New York City if I don't know where I am. And also what most people do is they make the mistake of going from where they are to achieve the goal. And I want you to actually go to the you with the goal achieved first and work backwards. And what this is a very important point to understand because everything is vibration, everything is frequency. You've heard of the law of attraction? Well, the law of attraction is a secondary law. In the movie The Secret, they were missing the primary law called the law of vibration. They left it out. And what's missing from it is that people don't know that they have to go to the vibration of their goal achieved and go up there and get ideas from up there because everything's a vibration and work backwards. Instead, what we do is we are right here, me, Danielle, and, and this in front of you right here has my current paradigms with my current results, my current mindset with my current results. And I go and I start to think about and brainstorm about how I can achieve my goal, but I'm staying on this energy, this frequency. And I'll never get the ideas to take me up here. It's impossible because the thoughts I'm thinking are getting me my current results. Is this resonating with you? Can you see this to be true? So what we need to do is to raise our frequency to the goal achieved. And I'm going to help you do that today and then work backwards and we'll bust through the paradigms and the limiting beliefs. So let's take a look at goals. An A-type goal is something that you know how to do. So an A-type goal is something that you've done before. This could be um, something more like a to-do list item. Like if you want to earn the trip and you've done it before or earn a monthly bonus and you've done it before. It's not a worthy goal. There's no growth attached. It's more like a to-do item. A B-type goal is something you think you can do. When you think you can do it, it's logical. So if this, this um, business partner joins my team and this happens and this happens, it's logical, I'll make my goal. What happens with a B-type goal is that because it's something you think you do, can do and it's logical, when you hit a bump in the road, most people pull back their goal and they get stopped. And we see this all the time in network marketing. They put a goal for the month and it might be the 20th and things aren't coming together and they'll retreat to their safe goal. A B type goal is not inspiring. And it's not a good goal to, 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 uh, to create because we'll drop it. And this is why we keep creating goals and getting stopped, creating goals and getting stopped. So a C type goal is the type of goal that you really want to go after. This is something that you have to fantasize about. You have to tap into your imagination and ask yourself, what do I really want to create? If I didn't think it was impossible, what do I want to do? And this is going to require some thinking. 
it's most likely not the first thing you admit to yourself. It's kind of like something that you write on your sheet and you whisper. And what happens is your mind, that little voice in your head says, who do you think you are? Who are you to say that you can achieve that? You can't do that. No one's ever done that as fast. And that is the C-type goal. It's that thing that you don't want to admit to many people. That's the type of goal that is going to keep you working. So I want you to ask yourself right now and maybe write something down. If you knew that anything was possible, which is the truth by law, if you can see it here, you can hold it in your hand. All science proves this. So for you, if you didn't know you couldn't fail, if you knew it was possible, what do you really want? And let's say in the next six months, the next 12 months, I have this magic wand. And when you're discovering it for yourself, ask yourself why you want it. And ask yourself why seven times deep. So it might be an income for you. It might be time freedom. Why? Why? Keep asking why. And when you ask why, you're going to get emotional with this and you're going to get emotionally connected to this goal. And this is what we want. We must go deeper than what you've gone before. And the whole purpose of your goal is to have you grow. It's not to get. And you have to really think about this. Your goal must be worthy of you. You are trading your life for your goal. And the truth is you're trading your life for something. So you might as well set a goal that's worthy of you. Some people are trading their lives for Netflix. I see it in my neighbors. But the, the purpose of the goal is to have you grow, not get. Grow into the person that you're actually meant to become. And you've got an incredible opportunity here with Beachbody. You are part of this company for a reason at the right time on the right team. Listen to the little voice in your heart that pulled you to this company in the first place. And step into that person. When you said yes, you saw something for yourself. You want to admit that to yourself. And then adopt this definition of success. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal, your worthy I goal. So as long as you are moving closer towards your goal each month, you are a success and you're growing. So tap into your imagination. Your imagination is a mental muscle. It is the creative center of your life. It controls how big you dream. And for many of us, our imagination muscle is actually weak because we were told to be realistic, to get out of the stars by our teachers, you know, to come back, to be, to get back to reality. We were even taught that with smart goals. One of the R's is, the R is realistic. But you have an imagination, I'm telling you, so that you can create the life that you're dreaming of. And it starts first with your mind. And so use this muscle to create a life that you love, to create a business that you love. Do not use logic. A quote from Einstein says, logic will get you from A to Z. Imagination will get you everywhere. And I'm going to warn you, as you're thinking about your goal, do not think about the how. As soon as you ask, how am I going to do this? You cut off your imagination muscle. And you want to stay in imagination as long as possible. And it doesn't matter what others think or what you think they will think. <laughs> really important. You've got to be free. And if you're going to be free, the quote is, if I'm going to be free, I've got to be me. Not the me that, you th that I think you think I should be. Not the be me my husband thinks I should be. 
I've got to be free. I've got to be me and I better know who me is. So you need to find out who that is, why you said yes, and what you truly want to achieve in this amazing opportunity. And it doesn't even matter when you start if you think you can do it. In fact, you will think you can't. It only matters, do you want it? That's the only thing. Do you want it? So I'm going to take an opportunity for a couple minutes to do a visualization. I'm going to take you there, and this is very powerful. So I'd recommend that everyone turn off their um, cameras just so that you, you all do it. And if you stop your video, then everyone can visualize and not worry about what other people see. So I'm going to ask you to, to uncross your arms and legs and play with me a little bit based on what you've just been thinking. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in to relax. And slowly bring it out. And again, in and out. And I'd like you to picture a lavender energy swirling above your head and moving down from the crown of your head through your body. And as it moves down through your body, it's relaxing your body. It's really important to be relaxed. Take another deep breath in and out. And on the screen of your mind, I want you to see, feel, and picture you with your goal achieved. Bring to mind a memory, an idea of your goal achieved. And I'd like you to see yourself now with this goal achieved. And you're happy and you're confident and you feel great. And I want you to imagine that you have your dream car and it's parked right out front and you see it there and you're going to walk right to it. And I want you to see the car and put your hand on the, st the door handle and open the car door and get inside. Place your hands on the steering wheel and feel the steering wheel. Take a look in the rear view mirror and look at yourself and wink. I did it. I got the car. And I want you to drive the car and notice how it feels. Notice the leather seats, the feeling of the steering wheel. Notice the other people driving and they're looking at you in this amazing car. How do you feel to have done it? Now I'd like you to pull up to your dream home and pull into the driveway and get out of the car and walk up to the door. Take a look back at your car and now put your hand hand on the handle and enter the home and notice the smells that come through the door notice the sounds you hear as you walk in the front door who's in the home what does the front hallway look like now close the door and I want you to walk to your favorite room in the house and notice the pictures on the wall, how the floor feels on your feet. Notice this room. You just love being here. Take yourself to the first mirror that you see and look in the mirror. And you are your perfect body weight, your hair is exactly how you want it, your makeup if you wear it, 
and take a good look into your eyes. You've done it. You've done it. It's February 2020. And you've done it. You've hit your goals. All of them. What do you say to yourself? How do you acknowledge yourself? I want you to really think about this. Every night you go to bed and you put your head on your pillow and you're so grateful you had the best day. You're working with a team that you love, helping clients that you love. And you're so excited every night because tomorrow you get to wake up and do the exact same thing with amazing people. And you did this. You took control of your mind. How do you feel? Look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're so proud, that you love yourself, that you knew you could do it. You knew it. And now up behind you, your spouse or your kids, your loved one or your friend comes up behind you and they give you a hug and they said, I, I knew you'd do it. How does that feel to be acknowledged by them? Soak it all in. This is you. You did this. You took control of your mind and you held the image. Notice how it feels. It's only been six months. So proud of you. Your team is so proud of you. Acknowledge yourself one more time in the mirror and thank yourself as we come back. You can turn on your video. How was that for you? Was that emotional for any of you? Yeah. See, what's really interesting about that is that there, with your goal achieved, is a place. You just imagined that and, and moved that image into your subconscious mind. And to you, that is real. That's how the mind works. And there is a place, if you go and you brainstorm or any name comes to mind right now for your business, reach out to that person. And this is inspired action. This is how you work smarter, not harder. And I guarantee there's a reason that that person came to your mind. Because you are now in the frequency of your goal achieved. And here's a quote from Einstein, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. You guys, this is science. And what you just did is so powerful for your results. This is a visualization. This is... A um, Phil Goldfein, he used visualization. He's one of the only 26, 27 people in the world who have earned an Oscar, an Emmy, and a Tony through the power of visualization. This is powerful, and this is what sports athletes do, Olympic athletes. You hold that image on the screen of your mind. In order to change your results, you have to understand how the mind works. There's something called that your paradigm and your habit. And this is what stops us. See, I just taught you a very powerful tool to visualize. And I'd actually ask you to do that every night before bed. And I know statistically that only two to three people out of 10 will do what I've just said, even though science proves that this is how you'll get your goal. Why are people stopped? Well, we're stopped because of our paradigm. Our paradigm is a mental programming. 
It is a multitude of habits that's fixed in your subconscious mind. Just like a computer has a program, your phone has a program, you are programmed. And the habit is just an idea that's fixed in the mind that we repeat over and over and over. And so your mental programming actually has you repeating things. Paradigms control your habitual behavior. And almost all your behavior is habitual. And in fact, 96 to 98% of your behavior is habitual and controlled by your paradigm. And I've got a cat. She likes this information. So 96 to 98% of your behavior is habitual and controlled by your paradigm. Therefore, it's this mental program, this paradigm that has almost exclusive control over your results. This is super important to understand. You guys, the results you are getting are not what you want to be getting. They're what you're getting because of your paradigm, because of the programming. When I heard this, this was so liberating because I thought something was wrong with me, why I wasn't doing those follow-ups or the calls. I wasn't programmed to do it, and you may not be either. Let me show you. In order to change your results, you must change your paradigm, okay? So where does this programming come from? We have an programming comes from two places, genetic and environmental. Genetic is pretty obvious. We learn this in biology from our mom and our dad. And this is why we look the way that we look. And the interesting thing is we're seeing now that habits are even genetic, that they're passed down through the genes. Really interesting. Then we have environmental programming. This is where all the moms go, oh, that's a pretty cute baby. <laughs> environmental programming. Environmental programming is super important. Think of this as the baby's mind. Everything that is, was around a child between the ages of zero and about six or seven went straight into the child's subconscious mind. So think about this for you. What was being said around you, around income level, your belief, your beliefs about network marketing, sales, culture, language, all of these things were programmed into you. Sales is very important for this industry. My, if you're like my family, when someone did this to the door, we were told to hide. Then what would happen when I went out and tried to talk to people about my business, I thought I was interrupting them or people, I was annoying them or they needed to hide from me. They were hiding from me. I had that belief because my parents told me to hide. What about when a salesperson called you on the phone? Did your parents hang up quick? Think about this. All of this is your programming and is giving you the results that you're currently getting. What about your income level? Where were your parents at? Did, they, were, did you have parents like mine that had more, four jobs and worked really hard? What about your belief about money? Money doesn't grow on trees. Money's the root of all evil. If you had any of these things going on around you, do you think that you'll earn money if you have a deep belief that money's the root of all evil? No. Our program is getting us a result and we don't we didn't even give ourselves the program and so when I first heard this I started freaking out about I'm a mom so about my kid my daughter and what I want to say about that is your parents did the best with their paradigms that they could they did the best to program you they didn't know any better and I didn't know any better and you didn't know any better but you're here today so now that you're aware of this paradigm it's your responsibility to change it are you ready to change it? Yeah. So let's take a look at the mind. This is a diagram that's called the stick person. I'd recommend you take a picture because I'm going to go through these slides pretty quick. This is a picture that was created by Dr. Thurman Fleet in 1934, and it's meant to represent the mind. And the reason why I show it is because there's a lot of confusion around how the mind works because we can't picture the mind when we say where is the mind people will say it's in their brain 
or the, some people will say heart. The truth is mind is movement. Mind is in every part of our body. But for the purposes of us understanding how the mind works and how this is controlling your results right now, it's important to know that there are two part, parts of the mind. There are many parts, but for this there are two. Conscious mind on top and subconscious mind on the bottom. So that big circle represents your head and the little circle represents your body. And the five antennas on top are your five senses. And your conscious mind on top is your educated mind. It's your thinking mind. It's the mind when you read all the books, when you take the sales training, when you go to university, all that knowledge goes here. Your conscious mind can either accept or reject ideas. And when I said to keep your mind open today and really accept what I have to say, if you do that, what I'm saying will go right into your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind actually controls the behavior. It controls what you do or do not do in your business. What's interesting is your subconscious mind also holds your paradigm, your self-image, your confidence, your beliefs, your emotions. Your subconscious mind controls the vibration your body's in. So for those of you familiar with the law of attraction, the law of vibration, it's your subconscious mind that is controlling what you're getting from the universe. And everything you will accept into the subconscious mind, you, it believes it to be real. And up until you're seven, you do not have a conscious mind, just a subconscious mind, so everything goes in. After seven, you have a conscious mind and you can accept or reject ideas. What's also interesting is people, most people are lazy with their conscious mind and they leave it wide open. So all the news, so if they hear there's a crash for the economy, they'll believe it and it will become part of their reality. Or if you hear someone say in your company, well, it's a slow time of year for business. If you accept that, that will be exactly the results you get. It's also the reason why consciously you know that you need to do the outreaches or follow up each day in your business, but subconsciously your mind stops you because you have a paradigm about sales, what it means to be a salesperson. Your conscious mind knows what to do and your subconscious mind controls the doing. Is this resonating? The, sub, the body is an instrument of the mind. The subconscious mind controls the body, what the actions you do or don't take. This was very eye-opening for me. What happens then, you take an action and the universe gives you an equal and opposite reaction. Now, what most people are doing is they're taking an action and not feeling good about it and in a negative vibration or not expecting the person to answer the phone and they get exactly that back. The universe has to give you what you're holding in your subconscious mind. So let's take a look at how to reprogram it. And I acknowledge it's 10. Micah, am I okay to go a little bit over? Okay, awesome. I plan for an hour, so I've got about 10 minutes if that's okay for everyone. Is everyone good with that? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the subconscious mind uh, needs to be reprogrammed because if you think about what I taught you about the mind, the paradigm is in the subconscious mind and 96 to 98 percent of your behavior is habitual and controlled by that paradigm. And only two to four percent is conscious. And so even if you consciously know, actually, I'm going to use a gym example because of your business. So you see this probably all the time with clients. You give them a pro, they get a program and they have the goal to lose weight, don't they? Become healthier. And you know that if they just follow exactly what you say, they'll get the results, right? And that usually involves eating the right things and doing exercise. And so you give them the plan and consciously they know what to do, you even tell them. And they might be good for a week or two because they're holding, they know what they need to do in their conscious mind, their educated mind, but the paradigm doesn't see them at the weight. Their self-image does not, they haven't changed their paradigm. And so what happens is they, hold, they do the activity that they need to do, they do the workout, for maybe a week or two and then after a while their paradigm kicks in their self-image and it has them doing their old habitual behavior again eating the chocolate cake 
whatever, whatever. And it will look like circumstances. They'll have all sorts of excuses as to why they're not doing it. But the truth is it's their paradigm. And the same thing happens in your business. You consciously know that you've got those calls to do or the text reach outs to do and you don't do it because you're not programmed to do it. And so we can consciously force ourselves for a couple weeks to do the, to do the asks, maybe even a month or two. But over time, it gets tired because it really feels like we're forcing it. And force negates. Force negates. You want to understand that. And there is a way to work smarter in your business, not harder. And working smarter means by really shifting your mindset and understanding how your mind works. So your paradigms, your paradigm, the results you're achieving is a direct reflection of the image you're holding in your mind. The image of what? You as a leader in the company, you with your goal achieved. Are you holding the image that you can act, that you actually believe that you can do this and understand that you become what you think about by law? You guys, this is like law, like the law of gravity. You know, when I drop this pen, it's going to the ground, not to the roof. It's the same laws, universal laws. And they're working in your life, whether you're aware of them or not. And so the results you're achieving is by law. And I posted this last quote above my desk. Be careful what I'm saying because I'm listening. So I hear people say all the time, wow, this is a really hard business. Or, gosh, I do my posts and no one replies. Or I send out messages and I don't get answers. Stop saying that. You're listening. And what you're saying, you have to manifest in your life by law by law. Instead, repeat to yourself what you do want. I'm so happy and grateful that I attract business partners every day, new clients every day. Really focus on what you do want. And it's a slight change in your thinking. We are programmed to say what we don't want. And I'll give you, for those of you that have kids, you'll agree. You know, if your kids are noisy in the, the next room, what's the first thing we say? Be quiet, don't be loud, you know? Or my daughter, I see her running and she, she loved to run in a, in a parking lot where we lived. And I'd say, oh, don't run. She'd be like, mom, what do you want? We're programmed to focus on what we don't want. And if we keep repeating what we don't want, like I don't want to be in debt, then you're going to get more of it. Even in your business and all your clients, if their goal is to lose weight, their mind must find the weight they lost. It's a cybernetic mechanism. It must find it. Choose some different language. You're listening. Your paradigm has control over your perception, your use of time, your self-image, your creativity, your productivity, your logic, your effectiveness, your money, and your relationships. All of these things, it looks like circumstances in your life. You guys, it's not. It's all the program. Take any one of these. You're not earning the, mon the amount of money you want. You're earning what you've programmed. Your mind is like a thermostat. Just like your house has a setting, your mind has a setting, and it's set to your paradigm. It's set to the way you were programmed. This is a, for your income, for your weight, for the way you use time, for how you sell. So this is why results go up and down. Has anyone experienced that? You can have a really amazing month, and then the next month down. Maybe you can have a few, and then down. This is because your thermostat has to bring you back to your setting. So same thing in your house. Your house might be set for 70 degrees. I'm in Canada, so I don't know Fahrenheit. 72 maybe, let's say. Um, and it's set for 72. And it's really hot outside, and the front door gets left open. And the temperature in the house rises. I guess it would be this way. rises for you. And 
what happens is the air conditioning kicks in and brings it back, doesn't it? Or it's a cold winter day and the window's left open and it goes really cold in the house. The furnace kicks in and it brings you back to 72 automatically. You don't need to do anything. The same thing happens in your mind. This is why sales go up and down if you don't change the paradigm because you're set. You might be a $50,000 a year girl, but in, in this industry, you could earn 10,000 in a month. You can earn 10,000, 10,000. As soon as you hit that 50, your mind has to bring you back because you're set. This is an important piece to understand. Our mind is like a machine and how we must change the setting to our goal. And how you do it is through repetition. I'm gonna show you that. And if you don't change your paradigm, your results will be temporary and you're on a roller coaster. And I coach so many leaders in network marketing that have been on this roller coaster. And that was me, I was frustrated. So it's time to stop that. It's time to stop and take control over that paradigm. And success leaves clues. I want to shout out to a few people that have used this material. Christy at the top is in network marketing. She promoted twice by using this material in six months. That's my own fitness journey using this material. It can be used for anything, self-image. My own personal story in my network marketing company, I was earning $2,500 a month. And six months later, I went to $7,800 and earned the company trips year after year after year. And I use the same material to become part of Bob's inner circle. You guys, success leaves clues. So take this very seriously. It's what all the athletes are using. There's four pillars to your success. Mentorship, accountability, mindset, and action. And this does, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. Find a mentor. You have Micah. She's successful. Follow what she says. And always, always find mentorship from someone who is where you want to be do not ask your neighbor for advice unless they are where you want to be or your parents does that make sense accountability accountability is your insurance against failure use the accountability structures that you have on your team create accountability partnerships mindset 95 percent of its mindset Work on this daily, change your paradigm, and then take action. And take action that is inspired by your goal. Go to that visualization and ask for guidance on a step that you can take. What's interesting is that there was a Harvard study that said that 3% of people achieve success on their own. Only 3%. You guys, nothing great was created in isolation. It's why you have a team. 97% will achieve 92% of your goal with the help of a mentor or circle of influence. I acknowledge each of you for showing up today. This is your team. Use it to achieve the success that you want. I have a couple free giveaways for you before we wrap. You, if you um, would like more of this information, I put a dump a ton of free content into a Facebook community. And you can find it. it's called Mastering Your Mindset, and it's all my Instagram. And I'm Danielle Amos with some a few underscores there. Um, and find me there, and you can join it. And all the content is logged, and you can join some of those master classes, and it's totally free. I talk about the laws of the universe, how to implement this into your life. So you can follow me and find it there. I want you to commit today to changing these paradigms and habits. There's two ways to do it. The first is spaced repetition, and I'm going to explain that for you in a moment. The second is an emotional impact. We could have an emotional impact, and in the moment, it's usually negative, and it can change your mindset like that. And at that moment, your life will never be the same, and your beliefs change of what you believe is possible for you. I don't want to wish that upon anyone. So at the Institute, we focus on the second way, which is spaced repetition. Repetition of what? Repetition of your goal. Repetition of affirmations. I'm gonna give you that, there's a habit tracker that you can download so I can show you what to repeat each day. You wanna be doing this work every single day and studying every single day, just a little bit to move you closer to what your goal is. Because you have to think of how was your paradigm given to you? 
the things that you that were happening around you between the ages of zero and six with the most emotion and repetition created your strongest paradigm. You need to reprogram your mind the same way. This is science and we prove it. In order for an individual to make a shift in logic and break out of that box to freedom, you need to understand the mind and how it works. Courage. This work isn't easy and it's worth it. This industry isn't easy and it's worth it. Determination is required and it generally only happens with assistance. This is from Bob Proctor. So what can you do now? I want to leave you. I don't have a ton of spots left and I do have a team to help me. So if you would like to help identifying what your paradigm is, that your limiting belief that has you stopped, you can book a strategy call. It's gonna take 30 minutes. And what I do is I get you emotionally connected to your goal. And you can text me and I'll reply with a link to my calendar and you can book it yourself. And I'll waive the fee for you guys as a thanks for, to Micah and Maria for, and you guys to be on the call. So text me right away if this is resonating with you and I'll reply back. For those of you that text a little bit later and there aren't enough spots, I'll give you a link for my team, okay? Because I only have a few. But um, if, you're, if you, this really resonates, text me. You want to write your goal and why you want it. It's really important, you guys, that you get your goal on a goal card. Commit to that today. And write it in present tense in positive words. Book the strategy session. You can also go into the Mastering Your Mindset group. And then there's another number here for you to text, a habit tracker. This is an automated system that I have set up for a habit tracker. One thing that I noticed is when I do these talks, people are like, what did you tell me to do? And for me, myself, there was so much information. I didn't know what to do on a daily basis, so I kept it simple. So if you text me, it's an automated system, and it will get sent right to your email with a video on how to use it. This habit tracker includes your daily strategies. You must study. Study what? Pick up the book, Think and Grow Rich. Read five to 10 pages a day. Get your mentorship with someone with proven results. Use affirmations. We've got great tools on affirmations in the Facebook group. Go to gratitude. Gratitude atones your energy. It puts you in line with infinite source and it automatically brings you back to a positive vibration visualize like i taught you and find accountability there's that number again make a decision right now to begin to live the life you want to live so you guys have control full control to achieve all the results, to attract the team you want. And once you make the decision that you're going to go for it, it's really interesting, but all the, mem the team, that the clients you need, the team members you need, all the resources you need will get attracted to you. The truth is they're waiting for you to commit. They're waiting for you to commit and make a decision. So go back right now to the one thing you wrote on the top of your sheet that you want to achieve this year and commit. Go back to the one thing you want to change this year and commit. And I know it's September. It's just not going to take you as long as you thought. It's possible in just a couple months to get there. I promise you because I've seen it time and time again. There's a difference between interest and commit, commitment. When you're interested in something, you'll do it when it's convenient. When you're committed, you accept no excuses, only results. Make that committed decision. And we'll see you at the top. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maria. Thank you so much, Danielle. Seriously, so many takeaways. I know we have a team filled with moms that are in the middle of dinner, so they'll catch the recording. So I apologize for not having as many on as we will have watching. But seriously, I, I mean, I work with so many of our teammates that I'm doing all the things. I'm doing all the things. Why am I not reaching my goals? And this 100% is it every single time. So I hope that um, 
our team will get into your Facebook stuff and get the habit tracker and do the strategy call with you and just pull as many resources as they can because this will literally change your life. Thank you. Are, are there any questions that I can answer for anyone? Can I say something really quick? Yeah. I've been working with Danielle for about a little bit over a year. And a few months ago, I added to my goal card that I wanted to become a speaker. And in the matter of like a few weeks, I did about five different speaking engagements on my story, whether it was my daughter's um, mental health or my story with Beachbody or it's just, it's been insane on how, like when you decide to do something and you continue to repeat it every single day. Um, I think I've, I've put on in one of our group chats that, you know, I write my affirmations a hundred times every day. I do, and it completely makes a difference, and it's made a huge difference in my life. So just FYI, as a testimonial. That's amazing. Thank you. I love it. Did, any, you, did anyone any have questions? questions? Yeah, I'm happy to stay on. This oh, is Kehlani said, can someone post the habit tracker text? Mm-hmm. I can go back and copy the number for you guys. Whoops. I think. There we go. The, um, oh, so you want to text the word habit to that number. Perfect. <laughs> um, when you guys, when you are creating your goal, it's really important that you do writing. So one thing I noticed is that people try to visualize by bringing the images to the screen of your mind without doing the work. I really encourage you to take pen to paper because what's interesting is you'll notice when you try to think about it, your mind will go all different directions. Everyone, anyone notice that? You can get distracted easily. Well, when you take a pen to paper, you can only think one thought at a time. So writing forces your thoughts to what you want and really literally weeds out the debt or the doubt. And so when you are writing, it creates the clarity and you create the picture on the screen of your mind and the re the the picture is what you need to get emotionally involved and that's what gets you into action so really um work on the the writing part your mind will tell you you don't have time for it but i can tell you if you write your perfect business partner like your ideal business partner your ideal client and who you are with your goal achieved, all in present tense and positive words, your, and then visualize that and hold the image on your mind, that will change your business. And I went from recruiting, I was recruiting about five business partners a year, and that became my monthly in my second month of doing that. So I was affirming, I, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have five new business partners each and every month. You know, in my company, five business partners was unheard of. And it, in, within three months, I was number three in all of Canada for recruitment because I was doing it so consistently. And by the end of the year, that's what earned me the company trip. Okay, so it's not, uh, it's not a um, uh, coincidence right? It's, it's all what you're holding in your mind. Does that, is that helpful for you guys? Yeah. Great. How many goals do you put on your goal card? Great question. Uh, only one. So you want to, when you write about your goals, you're going to have a really long list of things that you want. Really fantasize, write a laundry list of everything, your personal goals and your professional goals and get it all on paper. And then choose one thing that you want more than anything. And see, uh, let me define three things for you. You've got your purpose, which is your reason for getting out of bed in the morning. 
Then you've got your vision, which is like creating your Everest goal for your life. Your vision is really that longer term. Maybe it's a couple years. It's the impact that you're here to make. If someone was giving you an award, it'd be part of your vision. What are you remembered for? And then your goal is a bite out of that vision. And so pick the one thing on your list that you want next and make sure it's a C-type goal. You don't know how. It scares the shit out of you. You don't think you can do it. It will, like, when you go to take action, you'll hit fear, doubt, and worry. You'll feel like you're stopped. All of those are good signs. That means you're on the right track. See, the goal is to have you grow. And if it doesn't scare you, there's not much growth attached to it. Great question. Anything else? I love the questions, so don't be shy. Anything, like I really am here to serve you guys and to see you guys go to the top. And also notice what happens after this call. Like who's buzzing right now after getting this information? Anyone feel really good? Okay, you're in a good vibration. You want to post something about your business. You want to follow up. You want to reach out. And notice what happens. Nothing is a coincidence. There's no such thing as luck or coincidence. So notice what happens after you're in this vibration, after being part of this call. This is all because you shifted your vibration. And your vibration is the feeling that you're holding in your subconscious mind. Cool. Nice one, Aaron. Paper, pen to paper. Write, write, write. Write what you want. Anyone else? How can I help? I ha I'll ask a question. Okay. So when someone says like, I'm in a funk, I'm stuck, I'm bleh, like where they feel like they're not motivated, they're not inspired, they're, they just, when they show up to work, it's just bleh. What would yeah. be your go-to advice to like yeah. get into those high vibrations and feeling good again? Yeah, great question. So there's two things that I'd, I would address with this person is one, if you're in a funk consistently, you most likely don't have a C type goal, a worthy goal. And so you really need to tap into what you really want. Because people are fulfilled when they're growing and contributing. And fulfillment is the true happiness of life. And so when you're in a funk, it's a good indication that you're not striving towards something that you really want. You're most likely settling it and settling in your inner being knows. And that gives you the blah. So it's time to get your pen and paper out and be really honest about what you want. And don't be afraid if it's logical. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be any of that. Okay. So just be really honest. The second thing is let's say it's just like, you know, you wake up and you haven't had a great sleep and you find yourself in a low vibration. Well, that's a different can of worms. When, th when this is just like a one-off, you want to take responsibility for your vibration. And actually, Micah, I can um, send you a PDF that I have. It's called, it's um, how to raise your vibration. And you want, there's things that you want to do. For what I do is I jump up and down. So before a post, before a social media post, or even before a meeting, you actually like want to stand up and jump because, or listen and listen to music because your body in motion has to change your vibration. And this is from Anthony Robbins and you can do it with your kids. They love it. My, my daughter calls it the happy dance, change their vibration. And when you change their vibration, you change what you attract. So that's one way. Second way is getting into nature. The third way would be um, going to gratitude. Gratitude immediately, and you must feel it when you do the gratitude. Making a list of what you're currently grateful for and feeling the absence of it. Let's say I do this with my daughter all the time. I'm so grateful for her in my life, 
And if I find I'm not feeling it, I take a moment and I think about what if, so, if, some, if she wasn't there. Because the contrast of that gets me right into the feeling of, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful for her. And it gets me emotional. And in that state, I write my list of gratitude of five things that I currently have and five things that I've not yet manifested that are on my list. And I have faith by law. They're coming to me because they're in my mind. And so I write about how I'm so grateful for my business partners and my clients now each and every day. So that my big ones are movement, nature, music, and gratitude. And I'll send you that list. I'll make a note. Great question. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. So good. Thank you so much for taking time and doing this. Seriously. My absolute pleasure. And I can't wait to hear all the wins from your team, Maria and Micah. Keep me posted what happens now. There's no coincidences, okay? And I'll get back to all those that you text me. Thank you for that. Use that habit tracker. You'll see a video come to you in the email. And just be in touch. Let me know how you do. Perfect. Thank you Thanks. so much. Thank Bye you, Dana. Have a good night, you guys. Good night. See ya.